Good evening and welcome to Yankee Stadium for this huge game between the Yankees and the Rays with both teams neck and neck at the top of the AL East. Now with just two and a half weeks left in the regular season, this is the final time these two sides will meet with only the winners here tonight controlling their destiny. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Bill, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 7 here at the New York Yankees as we look to win the World Series using only American players. And today it is a massive, massive game against the Tampa Bay Rays. You can see up here, we are essentially neck and neck. We have a game in hand on them. Um, so if we win that, obviously we would be level. So it means the winner of today's game has their destiny in their own hands. The loser does not. Um, so it is, it's huge. It's, as I said, it's the last time we'll play them and there is, well, there's a lot to play for here. Now, since last episode, things haven't been brilliant. Uh, we left off, of course, with this win here against the, 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 who are they? The, <laughs> the Red Sox. Uh, we went to Toronto. We won two or three against them. Now, I think it was at this 13-8 game. Um, no, it wasn't the 13-8 game. It was the one prior to that. It was the first game in the series. Smith made his Major League debut. Look at that. Three for three, four RBIs. And if you look down here, we can see there, two home runs. What a debut in Major League Baseball for Josh Smith. Um, yeah, he may be, hopefully, hopefully he will be uh, someone that comes in and can maybe, uh, you know, not only push us into the postseason, but uh, do a little bit of damage once we get there. So that was a wonderful debut, surely one of the best debuts that has been in Major League Baseball. Um, so that was that series. Then we went and played Tampa in Tampa. We only won one of three in that, which was disappointing. And then the season looked like it was going to fall away from us. It, uh, we hosted Minnesota and we lost three of four. But we turned things around against the Jays. We swept them. We've won one of two so far in this series against the Rays. You can see the run in there. We've got to go to Baltimore and Miami. Oakland will come to us. Uh, then we host Baltimore before going to Toronto to end the regular season. So the Red Sox are not out of this yet either. They're only two games off the top of the division. We are currently in the wild card spot. So that's a positive. But we don't want to be going to the wild card. We want to win this division. Um, and you can see, I mean, if we were to win it, chances there's still a decent chance we could be the best team in the american league but ideally you probably don't maybe want that you'd probably rather be second than face a struggling al central side although the white Sox have beaten us convincingly several times in the postseason haven't they uh so that is where that stands now in terms of um of the pitching you know you can see a few niggling injuries the grom is out for two days uh he's just day to day he'll be back uh and seth ellidge as well is out for a week so that's not ideal um that means that isaiah bennett is going to get the start for us today now the other thing you may have noticed is that uh, garrett cole is not featuring here he is injured three weeks it's probably season at well Depends how far we go in the postseason. It's it's regular season over for Garrett Cole anyway. Um, so that leaves a little bit of a hole there with Bennett coming in just to fill in for DeGrom while he gets over his injury. Uh, just making up the extra starter there. We are actually a man short in the bullpen just now. Um, but yeah, overall, it's not going too bad. Bubic is the one that's disappointing. Though if we move fifth over next to ERA, uh, you can see he's, he's not been great anyway. Um, but he's maybe being a little bit harshly dealt with. But everybody else, for the most part, is okay. Kenning and uh, Isaiah Bennett. Well, Isaiah Bennett's early days in his career. Kenning, i was got to be honest, I was hoping for a lot more from him. Uh, it does say low adaptability, so I'm hoping maybe next season um, we might get more out of him once he's had a chance to adapt. Uh, but that is that. The Bats, um, the bats are the Bats. They're, they're doing fine. Uh, there's no one really that's disappointing me just now. Uh, Newstrom is doing what I kind of expected he would. We just need we just need somebody to come in and play in the outfield for us, that rotator, rotational outfielder. But Smith has uh, has done well now uh, from 10 games. You know, he's still he's still looking as though he knows what he's doing in Major League Baseball. But yeah, generally speaking, everybody's doing uh, doing quite well. So that is uh, that is everything caught up on. Um, I'll just show you that Garrett Cole injury. You can see there three weeks uh, strained ab muscle. So. It's a bit of a shame, though. He's not been the best in the, uh, the bullpen for us this year. Last season, he was he was quite good, but uh, not so much this year. All right, this is huge. Let's go face the race.
Oh, and if you look at these matchups, they do not look as though they're in our favor, do they? David Fletcher will lead us off at second base. Isbell will bat second in left field. Alamas is playing shortstop for this one. He will bat, uh, he will bat uh, third. It's Machado at uh, third base batting four. Corey Sager's a designated hitter. He bats five. Nico Horner at first base bats six. JJ in right field bats seven. Josh Stowers in center field bats eight. It's Cam Gallagher, the catcher, batting nine. Isaiah Bennett, as I said, he takes the mound for us today. It's only his second start, I believe. Uh, or certainly, yes, certainly hasn't had many starts, has he had? Uh, it's his third start, I tell a lie. We're up against, for them, Shane McClanahan, the lefty. He has an ERA this season of 341, a whip of 110, an ERA plus of 141, a war of one. So there's sort of differing numbers there, but I think basically, uh, as a general overview, he's had a good year. Maybe one of these guys that's sort of been outperforming uh, what you'd expect from him. But here we go, Bennett against Margot at the plate. And let's see what we can do. It's an 0-2 count. Ken Bennett, of course, only drafted into us into our organization this uh, this re this season. Um, pretty much called straight into major leagues at, uh, at the time he was drafted, and he starts with a three pitch strikeout. Wonderful stuff. Brandon Lowe comes in now, batting 260 this season. A 2-1 pitch and a ground ball. Machado has it over to first, two away. So far, so good for our youngster, Austin Meadows, to the plate, batting 336. He is having a very good season. It's an 0-2 pitch. It's a ground ball. Can Bennett make the play at first? Oh, he can't. And it's a two-out infield single for Vander Franco, who is batting 373. Wow, this season. It's a 1-0 pitch. Two-out runner at first. Oh, Bennett, you haven't. No, he hasn't. That's okay. <laughs> It's caught out there by Isbell. That ends the first. And let's go have a bat. It's Fletcher to lead us off, batting 310 so far this season. It's a 2 2 pitch. Up against the lefty, of course, which is why there's a few changes. That's, uh, that's a decent pitch, isn't it? Gets uh, Fletcher watching. Isbell batting 270 this season comes in. Isbell with a ground ball. That'll be out at first. And it will be left handed pitching specialist Stephen Alamas to the plate, batting 287. But he bats much better than that versus lefties. And Alamas pops it up, unfortunately, to end the innings. Three up, three down for our Yankees. All right. It brings up Randy Arizona batting 239, an 0-2 pitch. And another strikeout for Bennett. Two of them now. Mayer to the plate. He is batting 289 this season. It's a 2-2 pitch. It's another strikeout. Loving this, and it brings Burdick to the plate. He's batting 252. It's another 1 2 pitch. Two out, no one on. And how's that for an inning from young Isaiah Bennett? Strikes the side out. Nothing for them going in the second. Let's see what Machado can do to lead us off. He's batting 267 this season. It's a full count, and Machado rips it into left field. And that'll be a leadoff single for our disappointing baseman. <laughs> Corey Sager, doesn't have a hitting in this one, batting 285 this season. It's another full count. And Corey Sager draws a walk. Two on, no one out. This is a chance. Nico Horner to the plate, batting 277. A 2 1. Nico Horner, he's popped it into right field. I don't think Machado is going to get the third, is he? No. And that is one away for JJ Blade, batting 266. It's another full count. And another walk, which loads the bases, and it will bring on Stowers. We've dropped him down the order. He's batting 277. He's still having a decent season. It's a full count. Stowers. Oh. That looked outside, didn't it? It's a strikeout. He's caught looking. And it's Cam Gallagher, the catcher. Batting 261. Loaded bases. Two out. Oh, and he's... How many times do we see it? Loaded bases. And we cannot get anything across the plate. To be fair, we only had one hit of those. So, you know, we can't complain too much. Rowdy Tellez. Batting 283, Toronto Blue Jays legend with us, of course, and that is staying in. And it's a really good catch out there by Isbell as well, one away. Willie Adams to the plate, he's batting 255, it's a 1-2. Can we get another strikeout from Bennett? Yes, we can. And that is two away now, five strikeouts as Margot comes up. He's 0-1 for 1 today, it's a 1-0 pitch, two out, no one on. Popped up, be caught by Nico Horner, and it'll end the innings. So just the one hit through three innings for Isaiah Bennett so far. Fletcher will lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a first pitch swing. Bennett grounds at the first, and that'll be one away. Next man up is Isbell, of course. 0 for 1 he is today. It's a 3-1. Isbell gets himself a walk. 
It's Alamas, as I said before, left-handed specialist. He's not really showing it today, though. That could be a double play. It is. And that will end the third as quick as it started. All right, Brandon Lowe, who's 0 for 1, steps in. It's a first pitch swing from him. Lowe back up the middle. That will be a second hit of the game for the Rays, a leadoff single. And let's hope that doesn't lead to anything else. Austin Meadows, who is 1 for 1. Previously to that, the only guy to get a hit, he's got a second hit now. That is right down that right field line. And can we stop a run from scoring here? Uh, we can, but with no one out, runners at second and third. Bennett's got himself in quite the hole here. It's Franco to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a 3-1. Are we going to pitch around him to load the bases? We are. And, uh, well, we've struggled to score from this situation. Let's see if we can stop another team. It's Randy Arizona, who's 0 for 1. A 2-1 pitch. He has popped that up. Well, he's more than popped it up. He's lined it out. And uh, Blade in right field cannot stop the run from scoring. So it's a sack fly. It's 1-0 to the Rays. One away runners at first and second for Mayer. First pitch swing. And that is going to be dropping in. And it will be more runs for the Rays. And Bennett, who did so well. And we find ourselves here in the top of the fourth. We've already conceded two, only one away. Runners at second and third for Burdick, who is 0 for 1. It's a full count. It's up the middle, and that's probably two more, isn't it? Oh, it is, it is, it is. We can see now, I think, where Bennett's ERA of just over five is coming from. It's almost pushing up towards six now. He was looking so good. Tellez comes up. This is the second time this innings, isn't it? There's a strikeout for one away. And Adams now with one out, sorry, one on, two out. He steps in, 0-1 pitch, gets away from Gallagher behind the plate. That will get the runner over to second. So this innings may not be done quite yet. 2-1 pitch, hit into left field, and that could be a fifth run of the innings. Oh, Isbell can't get it in, and it is five runs in the fourth. And that will do it for Bennett. Packy Newton will come in now. ERA for him of four. 26. He's a, one of the new guys we called in. Uh, came in with the, on the expanded roster for his first experience in Major League Baseball, and he's done okay. You wouldn't say anything more than that, and that should end the innings as Isbell goes across. But that is a disaster. It's 5 nothing to the Rays, and we need to start chipping away at this, don't we? Machado, who's 1-for-1, one one, will lead us off. It's a 1-2 pitch, and it's a strikeout for Manny Machado. In comes Corey Sager. He walked last time up, of course. It's a 2-2 pitch. And Corey Sager takes it up the middle, and that will be a one-out single. Good to see Corey getting on base. Nico Horner, who's 0 for 1, comes in now. It's a 3-1. And Nico Horner, double play. No, just one. JJ, he walked last time up. 3-1. JJ, is that going to drop in for us? It is. And we have two on two out now. And it's Stowers to the plate, who's 0 for 1. If you're ever going to get a hit, mate, this is a very good time to get it. First pitch swing, and he does get it. He pops it into right field. It's going to score one, only one. But we have chipped away at the lead, and that's what we needed to do. So it's an RBI single for Stowers. Gallagher now with two out, two on. He's 0 for 1 today. Can he get a hit? It's a 1-0. Cam Gallagher, he can. He rips it into left field. Is that going to score another runner? We're going home. I think it's JJ, isn't it? He gets there. It's 5-2. This is good. This is very, very good. All right, Fletcher. He's 0 for 2. Can he get a hit now? It's a 1-1. Fletcher has popped it up. And that'll end the innings. But we're only three runs down now. We needed, we needed to chip away at that lead, didn't we? And we've done that. Packy Newton now. He's going to face Lowe, who is one for two. It's a 2-0 pitch. And it is hit into left field. It's caught by Isbell. That's one away. Austin Meadows, who is two for two. A full count. And we strike him out looking. Go on, Packy. Two away now for Franco to come in. He is 0 for one. A first pitch swing. And a pop-up. And Newton, or Norton, I should say, has done a very good job there for us. Gets it out of the fifth. A 1-2-3 innings versus the strength of their order, you'd have to say. And we're going to have another bat now with Isbell, who's 0 for 1. A full count. And a ground ball to second. And that, Oh, it's an error. And Isbell finds himself on first. All right, let's make him pay for that now. Alamas will come in. He's going to face the righty Jacob Barnes, whose ERA this season is 5.45. 
but Alamas not the best. Well, he was rubbish versus lefties today. Let's go. Get there. Get there. He does. Isbell with a stolen base. 21 of them now this season. Can Alamas drive in a run for us? He's going for third. Oh, and they've got him. We didn't need to do that. One out, no one on. And Alamas... Well, I mean, that would have got him over to third anyway. Oh, why are we stealing third with no one out? Manny Machado, who's one for two. It's an 0-2 on him. That doesn't usually end well for Manny, but he's on this occasion rather than into center field. And, of course, if we hadn't have scored, uh, hadn't have tried to steal third, we would have scored a run there. But two out runner at first for Corey Sager. He's one for one. He has got it up the middle. He's two for two now. And this will bring a tying run to the plate if Machado gets the third, which he does. And a chance now for Nico Horner to pull us a little bit closer. He's 0 for 2 today. Horner, oh, run. Oh, he snuck it through. He snuck it through, and it does pull back a run. An RBI single for Nico Horner. Sega goes over to third, and the go-ahead run comes to the plate, and it's J.J. Blade. He's 1 for 1. Come on, J.J. J.J. pops it up, and that'll end the innings. But again, we chip away at that lead. It's down to 2. 5-3. We now trail the race. Norton will face Randy Arizona, who is 0 for 1. It's a full count. And it's a ground ball. Alamas has it over to first. And that is... I probably called him Corey Sega earlier on, didn't I? That is one away. Mayer, who is 1 for 2 today. What can he do? Not much. Alamas over to first. Wonderful stuff. Alamas is... Oh, no. He stays in the game. Okay. Burdick now, who is one for two. He has two RBIs. No one on today or for this inning, though, at this at bat. And that's a strikeout for Norton, and he has been sensational so far. Let's go and have a bat in the sixth. It is Stowers to the plate. He is one for two today. Did drive in a run last time up. This time he grounds at the third, and that'll be one away. In now will come Gallagher, who is one for two. What can the catcher do here? First pitch swing. Grounds at the shortstop. And that will be two away for Fletcher. I forgot to mention this earlier on in the game. Fletcher has recently got his 1,000th career hit. So well done, Fletch, on that. And he has not added to that here. I think he's up to 1,010 or something like that. So it was very recent that he got it. Um, but, uh, yeah, nice little milestone for him. But we don't chip away at the lead that innings. And Nick Robinson will come on now to face Rowdy Tellez. Nick Robinson, ERA of 430 this season. I was expecting more from him, I'll be honest. I thought we had ourselves a, uh, a real star, but uh, he's had a couple of off games, but he starts with a strikeout there. Adams comes in now. He's one for two today. It's another 2-2 two -two pitch. It is popped up. It should be playable for Stowers in center field. He's going back. He makes the play, and that is two out. Now Margot will come in. He is 0 for 3. It's a full count, and that'll do it. We'll have a stretch, and it is Robinson with a very, very good top of the seventh. Isbell will come into bat now to face Barnes. Now, one thing I do need to mention is uh, you need to uh, nominate for the MVP, our Golden All-Star for this season. So let me know in the comments or the Discord or Twitter, wherever you want to do it, who has been uh, your favorite or you think our best player this season, and we'll get a nominations list. Now, we are pitch hitting. Alamas is out. Newstrom comes in. I'm okay with Alamas going out. Not sure why we're pinch hitting with Newstrom. But anyway, he's ERA. So he's at ERA. He's at average is 198 this season. One out, no one on, and Newstrom strikes out, and that'll be two away, and it brings Machado up to face Castillo, whose ERA is 328. Machado, two for three today. He's having the sort of day we want many to have more often, and he's been hit. He'll go up to first. It'll bring Corey Sager to the plate. Corey Sager is uh, up to 900, 900, 498 hits now for the Yankees, and that is not going to be 499. And that'll end the seventh. So he's the approaching a nice little milestone for the Yankees. Robinson will face low now. He is one for three. It's an 0-2. And that is going to be a strikeout for Nick Robinson. And that'll do it for him as Kasowski comes on. Now, Kasowski's ERA is nine. But he did have one... Well, he's only pitched two innings. So I'd say he had one bad outing. Oh, dear. I really want Kostowski to work. I think we just might need to say uh, it's not going to quite ever happen for him, is it? 
at 6-3 now. We've got more work to do. Franco comes in. He's 0-2. 1-2 pitch. And that is a ground ball. Who's at shortstop? Who is at shortstop? Smith has come in to play shortstop. Okay. Arendi Arizona to face Kosowski now. Two out, no one on. 0-1. And that is absolutely crushed to the fence. And that'll be at least a double. We'll keep it to that. And, um... Yeah, Kosowski just doesn't work, does he? Mayer, who's one for three. A full count. Walk. We need to end this innings. Burdick comes in now. He's one for three. Another full count. Oh, go away, Kosowski. And it's nine to three. And it's only nine. I mean, we're not being badly out hit either. It's so frustrating. Durbin Feltman comes on now. Um, we'll have a ceremonial demotion of Kasowski after the game. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We need six runs in two innings. Nico Horner will lead us off. He's one for three today. Can he get this uh, the great comeback underway for us? It doesn't look like he can. Run, Nico. And that'll be one away. JJ, who's one for two, now steps in. It's a one-two pitch for him. And JJ has hit it well. Has he hit it well enough? JJ Blade, it's nine to four. It's a home run for JJ. 405 feet. And, well, now we need five runs. Not done yet, of course. We could still do this. But uh, good to see JJ smash him on over the fence. All right, Stowers, who is one for three. It's a one-two. Stowers, is that going to be an infield hit? No, it's not. And that is two away now for Cam Gallagher. He's one for three. It's a first pitch swing. Gallagher hits it well, but straight down left field's throat. Barely had to move, and that'll do it. And it is 9-4, and we go to the ninth. Feltman will face Adams, who is one for three. It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. It's a first hit of the innings, a leadoff hit. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's uh, a man at first with no one out. Margo, who's 0 for 4. Let's keep the O. And we will. Isbel barely has to move. Makes the play. Runner will stay at first. One away. Brandon Lowe, who's 1 for 4. We get the strikeout. Oh, we don't get the man at second, though. That's 2 away. It's Austin Meadows, who's 3 for 4 and can go away as far as I'm concerned today. And that will do it as Stowers will come in. And that'll end the innings. That's just two bad innings, isn't it? A five-run inning and a four-run inning. And, uh, well, we're in deep doo-doo. It is 0 for 4 hitting Fletcher to lead us off. A first pitch swing. And Fletcher gets us underway with a single. We need five runs. I'm not saying it's done, but it's not looking good. 0 for 3 is Isbel. Can he get himself a first hit of the day? No, he can't. One away. That doesn't help. It brings Doey on to face Smith. Now he is batting 351. He's a bit of been a bit of a sensation in September since we uh, caught him in with the expanded roster, but he gets tied in a knot there. We're down to our final out. It's Manny Machado who is two for three. It's a two-two pitch. Manny Machado strikes out, and that is a devastating, devastating loss. All right, so Marshall Kasowski, may we never see you in Major League Baseball again. I mean, it's not just his fault, obviously, but uh, one and a half games behind now. I mean, it, there's still there's still games to go. It's not done by any stretch of the imagination, but that was a game we really, really would have liked to have won. Um, so that uh, is it for today. If you've enjoyed that, hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I think what we'll do is we will come back when the division is on the line, whether that be us winning it or, or us trying to stay in it. Um, We'll come back when that's happening. I mean, the way it's going, well, it depends, obviously, what sort of form we pick up from here. But we have very, you know, we have winnable games. We can beat anybody on our day. So I'm suspecting it might be this final week, either the Orioles or the Blue Jays that we'll be coming back for. But until then, guys, I've been Aussie Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.